Michael Lee uh, has really good hair and tattoos. You ain't shit. Start over. <laughs> <laughs> If you experience his poetry, just imagine him giving all that energy and all that love to our young people. He does it every day. You know, I don't know if you really understand what this is going to say to the young people. Um, as we've been in this journey with Brother Mike, he's been talking about it. Who would feel guilty about leaving the young people for this opportunity? Think about it. Um, not too many people. Uh, and then to know that why he's getting it and know he's coming back. We need to put our money where our mouth is and just give um, whatever it is that you're able to give so that we can make sure that Michael has the tools that he needs to be to continue to be the innovator, um, to be creative and to bring energy positive energy to our young people. Michael Lee is a co-worker, colleague, friend, inspiration. It's mutual, I hope. Um, I, I'm really in favor of him doing this program at Harvard, although I'm really selfishly disappointed to be losing him. Um, as a youth worker here at Avenues for Youth. You know, look at him and how many people he can affect and really, really change their lives and stuff. So, you know what, if anyone deserves such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful fundraising event or people to support him and show him how much we love him, and we want him to reach for the stars. Mike Lee is one of those people and I'm so proud and honored to have him in my life. We had lost the youth and just the impact that it made on us and how we moved forward. But one of the things that he did, he was sick and the youth needed to travel to Chicago to go and uh, be a part of the funeral service. So him and other youth and another staff with his sick self got in a car and went to Chicago just for the sake of uh, supporting this, the youth and also uh, celebrating the life of a, a young man that he was close to that he uh, uh, worked with. Um, it was awesome. They made the trip within like 36 hours, came back, and it was just a, a, a momentous moment to see that his dedication to youth goes beyond his, uh, I, my expect. I didn't travel with him. He did, and I could have, but he did it. And that shows a testament that he would go uh, over expectations or over beyond uh, what we, me and you can probably do because that's a gift in him. And so that's a wonderful thing to see a young man like himself to be able to go and, and do that for our youth. What Michael Lee is able to bring into his work as an artist and a social worker is invaluable. Um, I'm really excited to see what happens on the other side of Harvard uh, and how uh, it's really going to evolve, I think, this, this conversation here in Minneapolis about um, what the role of art can be in our community um, at large, but uh, especially with young folks and especially with young folks who are struggling to have their basic needs met. It's crazy. I never, um, I never thought I was gonna make it out of high school. I didn't think I was gonna live past 18. I didn't really want to. <laughs> and so I've always, I've been really interested these last couple of years in how to put my my passion for poetry 
together with my passion for, for youth work. You know, so I applied to this Harvard program, the arts and education program. It's funny, I had zero dollars in my bank account the day that I applied. I had to borrow $80 for the submission fee for my best friend. Thanks, Jeremiah, I appreciate that. And I got in, I didn't even tell my parents. So I was thinking, okay, I got in. How am I gonna pay for this thing? I still don't know. <laughs>